Hey and welcome to a new tutorial video. Today we are making these stack of books. So let's get started. I'm going to open up a new Blender file. Press A to select all and X to delete. And let's go ahead and add a mesh and select plane. Press 7 on your numpad for top view. And let's scale this up a bit. So S and Y and S and X. Rotate the view a bit. Press step to go into edit mode. And let's extrude this on the Z. So E and Z. And let's add two loop cuts in the middle. So control R and use your mouse wheel to make two. Let's scale this on the Z, so S and Z. Now press 3 for face select and select this face and G, X and move it here. Let's add another loop cut right here and press 3 again for face select. And select all these faces by holding shift, alt E and extrude faces along normals and bring it in. Press S to scale evenly. Let's step out and control 2 for subdivision modifier. Let's shade this smooth, so click your right mouse. Let's go to our normals and auto smooth. Let's go to the modifier tab and make these four on both. Tap back into edit mode and let's add some more loop cuts. So control R and add one here. And control R and add two here and scale this on the Y. Let's add one here. And let's do two in the middle. And scale this on the Z. Now I want to add more loop cuts in the middle. So we can make pages. But before we do that, I want to give this a white color because we have less faces to select now, so it's easier to give this a color than when we have added these loop cuts in. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So tap to object mode. Let's go to this viewport shading. Let's go to the material properties, select new, go to base color, hex, and let's give this book a purple color. So select nine, 0587B like this. Let's go into edit mode, press 3 for face select, and by holding shift, select these faces. Control plus to add to the selection. Click this little plus sign here, new, and click assign. Okay, now we can go back and make these pages. So let's go into edit mode with tab and control R and do a couple cuts, something like this. Now select these and by holding shift, go all around. Okay, let's bevel this. So control B and do a small bevel. You can hold shift to be more precise. Okay, alt E and extrude faces along normals and bring this in. And again, you can hold shift to be more precise. And something like this will be fine. 
Okay, let's go ahead and add a background. So add mesh plane and let's scale this up. Like this and we can now duplicate this book and make a stack of it. So press one on your numpad, select the book, shift D and Z and move this up. And you can adjust it the way you see fit. So you can press S to scale and R to rotate, shift D and Z to duplicate and bring it up. And you can also hold shift to be more precise you can do whatever you like. Let's make about six books. Okay, this looks fine. Now we can go ahead and give them all some color. So go to the viewport shading and select the background, make that black. Select this book. And as you can see, we have two materials and I want to change the purple one. So make sure you select the top one and then you can go to the base color to the hex and type in B for eight B A B and I forgot to select this one for a new material so let's press ctrl Z and make sure we select this one here before we sign a new color so the color was B Four, eight, B, A, B. And now only this one gets that color. So let's do that for the next one as well. So make sure you select a new material here and then make sure you are material one, base color, C, F, eight, eight, seven, six. And of course you can assign your own colors but just in case you want to follow me, I will give you the hex colors. So again, make sure we are material one, new material, base color. And this color will be 8B424B. This one will be 788DA0. And the last one, F E A seven B D, like this. Okay, let's go ahead and add a camera. And for the location, I want the Z to be twenty one. And the rotation 75. Okay. Click the camera and bring it down with G and Z. Let's go to the output properties and make the resolution a thousand by a thousand. Select the camera here and let's adjust the scale. Something like this. Adjust the background to scale this up. Okay. And let's go ahead and add a sunlight. So add light sun. And I want to rotate the sun around the 3D cursor. And in order to do, to do that, we need to select 3D cursor here. So let's bring this up with G and Z. Rotate this 
RX45, RZ90 minus. And let's give this a color F3BC85. Strength will be 1.5. The angle will be 55. Like this. Let's go ahead and add an area. G and Z to move this up. RX45. Or Z45. Let's make this a power of 600. Shape will be disc. Size will be 4 meters. And let's duplicate this light. So Shift D R Z180 to go to the other side. And let's give this a different color. The same as the sunlight. So F. 3B C85 and the rest will be the same and I want to give the world a purple color so go to the world and type in 653F86 okay let's go to the render properties right here select ambient occlusion bloom screen space reflections and go all the way down to color management. And for the look, I want to go with high contrast. And let's not forget to save our file. Okay. And render engine will be cycles. Click denoise. And let's go to the last viewport shading tab. Okay, we can play a little with the lights. So select both lights, press one on your numpad. And I want to bring this up a bit. So G and double Z and move this up. Do the same for the sunlight, G, double Z and move it up. And you can play with the lights a little more if you see fit. Maybe change the lights, change the colors. Um, but I'm happy with this. So I'm going to render this out. And that is the end of this tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.